Hey Gifted Crafters, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick little video just to show you the cast on and cast off process on my central 48 pin needle machine. Let's get started. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to learn is the cast on process. So I have my central 48 pin needle machine and I have my little mini cam here and I'm going to show you what you would need to do first, which would be to bring up the white needle. So go ahead and crank your machine until you see the white needle pop up. Okay, so now that you have your needle in position, you're going to want to take your yarn and cast on. So I'm going to measure about the size of my arm or about 20 inches or so, just because I like to have a little bit extra in case I need it. So you'll drop that into the middle of your machine. And then you're going to just hold your yarn and loop it around that first white needle, just like this. And you should be able to see it well on my mini cam. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate on this side is the yarn that you're putting inside the middle of the machine. But on my left hand side, I have my working yarn and that's attached to the bundle that we are going to go ahead and continue to cast on with. So let's go ahead and hook this on. I'm going to drop the one that goes inside the machine and you're going to weave this yarn in the back and in the front of each needle as it comes up. So let's go ahead now and take my right hand and I'm going to be cranking the machine. Now this is already looped to the front of the white needle. So what you want to do now is start on the back of your first needle. So this is what I mean. Now we're in the back of the needle. Okay. And then you're going to go to the front of the needle. And then the back, the front, back, front. And you're going to continue this motion all the way around until you come back one full circle. Now that I've gone one complete circle all the way around, you'll notice that my yarn is on the back of the last needle. So what you're going to want to do is continue to crank in between the last needle and the first needle, which is the white needle. And I'm going to go ahead and put the yarn inside my yarn guide. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and put it into the tension. So let me just readjust my camera so I can give you a better look. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this a little better. So this is what the tension guide looks like on the 48 pin needle central. And you have three different tensions, right? The first one that's closest to the central machine is the tightest. The middle one is your medium tension. And then the one that's furthest from the central machine is the loosest one. I like to keep mine in the middle, so I'll go ahead and insert my yarn into that middle tension guide. And that should be able to keep my tension on my project for the remainder of the cast on process. And before you start, don't forget to set your counter to zero and then you can just start cranking. Okay, so now that my cast on process is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my project. So you can just go ahead and start cranking your machine and you'll see that your needles will go ahead and it will pick up the yarn and put it into the appropriate pins. So go ahead and crank up your project. And once you've reached the amount of rows that you wanted to make for your project, I'll show you the cast off process. Okay. So I just did a couple of rows just for demonstration purposes here. So what you can see here now is that I'm back at my white needle. I finished up the amount of rows that I wanted to do. So whatever the number of rows is that's required for your project, go ahead and stop at that number. And then you're ready to start the cast off process. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my working yarn and I am going to get a pair of scissors 
and leave a pretty generous amount and go ahead and cut that off. Now I'm going to take it off of the tension guide and I am going to take it off here. And as you can see, I'm putting the yarn in the middle. What I want to do is hold this right here in my hand. So I just keep my hand in the middle of the machine, holding it up, and I'm going to crank one time all the way around without passing that white needle. And this is going to release the stitches. So let's go ahead and do that. So I see my white needle is about to pop up here. And let me reposition the camera so you can get a better look. Okay, so I repositioned the camera so you can see that the white pin is about to pop out and the yarn is about to be released, but I haven't released it yet. So we're going to go ahead and take that yarn and I want you to take the darning needle that came with the central or if you have your own set that you use as your preference, you can go ahead and use that one. I sometimes prefer ones with a bent tip, but I'm going to go ahead and thread the needle. And then what you're going to want to do is pick up each one of these stitches all the way around. So you're going to start in the back of the needle. So position your needle on the inside of the machine and then go ahead and pick up that stitch. And you're going to pick up all the stitches all the way around. So let's just go ahead and do that. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, but you're going to want to be very patient. So you can see here that I've picked it up. Go ahead and thread that through. And then go ahead and pick up the next one. Thread that one through. Then you're going to want to pick the next one and the next one and the next one. And so as you move, just go ahead and crank to get them closer to you. Just be very careful that you don't pass the gauge here. So you want to make sure you pick up your stitch before it gets released. Otherwise, it'll be dropped. So go ahead again. Demonstrate this again so you guys can see it. You're picking it up from the inside of the machine pointing your needle towards you and then go ahead and pull it through. Now, another tip is you don't want to yank up on the yarn because you can release the next stitch by accident. So make sure that you do this nice and slow and just go ahead and pick up the stitch and feed it through. And then go ahead and crank it towards you very slowly and just continue to do this all the way around. And that, my friends, is your cast off process. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here. Now, if you notice, your yarn has been detaching from the machine and that's exactly what you want. So just go ahead and continue to move along now, if you want to move a little bit faster, you can pick up multiple stitches at a time. So if you want, you can go ahead and pick the first stitch up and then the second stitch up and then go ahead and pull through. But only do this once you feel comfortable. So let's just continue. Okay, so I'm down to my final two stitches here. So I'll go ahead and pick those up. And just remember that you definitely want to keep your needle in between the two pins that are sticking out. Just makes it a little bit easier for you to pick up. And here's the final one. And that will take off my project 
I can take the needle off of my thread and I have completed the cast off process. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was really helpful in teaching you how to cast on and cast off of the central 48 pin needle machine. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you on the next one.